Hi YouTubers, a few weeks ago I was thinking about buying a new hoover and then last week I went to B&Q and I saw a really nice hoover but it was out of stock so that persuaded me to get this. It's the 1300 watt wet and dry hoover from Titan and I thought, you know, being a box, being a you know hoover and stuff like that, I thought I'd give it a video in of opening it to see what you actually get in the box but also, while I was there, I picked up the filter for it. It's, this was an extra 12 quid, this was. The Hoover was 29.99 currently. But, this way then, with the filter, you don't need a bag. Which is ideal for me, because the reason I wanted to get this was so it, it can suck up the guinea pig hay, what they don't want and what they post out the cage. So, uh, I've got my craft knife. I'm going to open this. Ooh. I'm getting a pro at this. Ooh. Let's see what you get. Let's see what you get. Let's see what you get. Wheels. Some more wheels. Roller skates. And some more wheels. Bit of paper. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a bit. That's a bit thingy. Oh no, that does. That does. So if it does ever go, it does twist. So I think you can buy a new hose. So that is useful because sometimes the hoses do go. So I think that just like slots in and then you just screw like a nice long, feels solid, that bit rotates and stuff. I have a bit of further investigation to see if this bit does come off because I know you can buy replacement hose, I wonder if it's like one fits all. Okay. Triple pipes, so they must all Slot together. Mm. Yeah, dang. Yep, that feels nice. Also, another reason I bought this because of the, the wet function is in case our fish tank decides to spring a leak again. Okay, now for the big beauty. Oh, yes. Okay, instructions, empty box, over there. Okay, let's have a little look at this. Switch feels nice. It's got a rubber cap over it, so I suppose that protects it from wet. You've got your foam filter, which does come off. I'll show you this. This is the innards of it, and as you see, there's a little cap here when I get the fingers underneath. And as it fills up with water, this slowly raises up and blocks the hole, so it protects the motor from flooding. Or, if you tip it, it immediately falls down, also protect the motor from flooding. Plastic feels nice, feels strong that does. That feels nice. nice. Clips feel nice. Okay. Let's get the foamy thing back on. There we are, the foam's back on. Oh, I just found some stuff. Some screws. Some screws. Okay, that's new. Crevice nice and tall. Nicely built. Okay, this is the only head it comes with. It must have a one head to suit all. Quality, the plastic seems good, but I would have thought it would have had like two heads, one for wet and one for dry. 
But you never know, you never know, it could be good. You could be good. Plastic base, that's how it'll feel. Instruction book. Is this the instruction book? I thought that was the instruction book. Oh no, that's not the instruction book. That's a baggie. That's a bag. Oh, you get a free bag with it. Okay, so. Oh, I think I found out where the screws go. So the wheels. Go up. Like so. And then screw in there. I might send my wife to get me my flathead screwdriver, please. Thank you to my helpful assistant for bringing me a screwdriver. Didn't know you had to do a bit of assembly, but hey, I can't really complain. Okay, so that just goes in and screws up like so. Last wheel going on now. Some screws went in a lot easier than the others. I did just notice something while screwing this all in. On the base of this, it's got here, B, A, B, A, and you've got corresponding wheels to go in it, which I didn't honestly notice, so I just sort of put them in and sort of scored. So that's really good. Plastic feels nice. Nice and sturdy. Just tighten this up. Then it's going to be testing, I think. And that's it. Plastic feels really nice. Nice big bucket. It's going to be especially handy for one thingy. And this would just be it. Right, that would just go like that. And that would be the hoover done. The plastic feels nice. I've got to mention, this bit here, this big massive hole, is for blowing. I never had a blower before, so this is going to be fun. Um, and that would be the normal bog standard hoover, but nice big long power lead, which is always handy. Your hose, just really difficult this is, just slots in like that. Job done. Now, oops, break something. That just backs in like that, which is cool. Okay, so then that just pulls out, that just pulls out, and that would just be this video over and done with, but because I bought the extra cartridge, but because I bought the extra cartridge, I'm going to put the cartridge in, so let's open this, let's, oh yeah, there we are, I was wondering if it had instructions, it has, nice pictures, nice easy to follow pictures, so... Okay, so let's put this on. You can go down there. Take your foam off. You slot on. Is there any little things? No, you just slot on, I think. And then okay, I think that's all the way up. There is a bit of a gap there, so I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. No, I don't think there is supposed to be a gap. I must be doing this wrong. Okay. Yeah, let's try the other way. Oh, right there. I don't think it goes down any further, I just think it slots there. Okay, so that. Oh, put that on.
should just tighten up. Okay, too tight and too... Oh yeah, there we are. That's it. That's it on. Yay! <laughs> and that's the filter fitted, so you don't need a bag. Which I'm all apart about being recyclable because I don't like bags. Okay, so that should just fit in there. So that's all fitted in. Clips nice and strong. That's nice and strong. I'm going to go and get plain there. This is a test of it just picking up random pieces of fluff and dirt. The head, you can't really pivot, so you've got to like keep it nice and straight. So let's give it a little go. It's got a lot of suck. Okay, let's see. It's got a lot of suck. The problem is though, these parts keep coming undone, so I don't know if I've pushed it in far enough, but you I'm don't want the camera. Mark. These parts keep coming undone, so I don't know if you have to push them in really tight, but if you do push them in tight, you won't be able to get them off easily. But let's have a look in the actual bin. For that short time, it has actually collected a little bit. It's not too loud and too noisy. And now I'm going to go and flood the kitchen. Okay, I'm just going to give it a wet test. Pour some water on the floor. Yeah, just go for it. Okay, it's all set up. made light work of it and the final test below <laughs> As, as you can see, it had quite a good blow on it. Just ask the missus, I stuck it in her face. Yeah, and I got wet. As I'm back, I'm going to give this my overall rating in a moment. I'm going to give you the good points of it and the bad points. So, uh, for this Hoover, I'm going to give it four stars out of five. The reason is, is the plastic feels lovely. It's nicely cut, nicely seams, everything fits nicely. This is nice. The only thing that lets it down is the head and the wand because when I was picking up dirt, the head and the wand kept on coming apart just like that. Still a bit wet, I know. <laughs> but everything else, the sucking dirt action, the sucking water action and the blowing action is awesome. I really hope you like my video, if you do like it whichever side it is, I should really learn this, I know. Please click like, and if you really, really like to keep in, up to date with my videos, uh, hit subscribe up into that corner. Thank you very much for watching my videos.